It is controversy in the debate over school sports this fall. Should athletes be required to wear masks? The governor thinks so, issuing an executive order mandating masks during practices and games this week. Our Grant Herms has been talking to coaches and players. Uh, Grant, masks are not new to sports, but new to youth sports. That's right. We've seen pro players wearing masks all summer long in baseball, but just back in June, the World Health Organization said that masks should be avoided during exercise because it could make people breathe a little less comfortably. And that comfort factor is what's at the heart of things out here on the field. And once again, youth players are in the middle of this controversy. Wait. All right, you got to get wide, all right? With fall sports back on track, go, 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 go. everyone is adjusting. I'll put that on right and readjusting to wearing masks while playing. This side, yeah. At Gross Point South, every team out practicing is still navigating the new challenges, and not everyone is happy about it. I really think these masks cause more problems than they theoretically solve. Um, you know, we've got problems with mouthpieces. X-ray! I'm kind of uncomfortable, kind of hard to breathe. But, you know, we're willing to do it if that's what we have to do to play. But some parents say the governor has gone too far. In response to the mask mandate, members of the group Let Them Play, which pushed to have fall sports this year, started a petition calling the masks during play incredibly dangerous and want the order removed. The petition garnering more than 50,000 signatures. Today, the state's top doctor, Dr. Janae Caldoun, saying she understands parents' outrage, but says mask up or sit out. But for contact sports, it is recommended, given where we are with COVID-19 cases across the state, it is recommended to wear a mask. And if someone is unable to, then they may not be able to participate at this time. Now, just before that, our Rod Maloney asked the governor the science she was using to back up her mask order, but she declined to answer and said handed that off to Dr. Caldoun. Dr. Caldoun didn't give any specifics either. Back to you. That was a really uh, interesting exchange from this afternoon. All right, Grant, uh, for more on this recommendation and how it was made, we're joined now by our Dr. Frank McGeorge. And uh, Doc, are there, are there specific studies on this issue? Obviously, we've, we're covering such new ground right now, but what about this one? Well, you know, that's just it, Devin. No, there are not. It's a new virus and the exact risk of transmission of COVID-19 during sports and particularly contact sports. It's just unknown right now. But I think we can make some reasonable assumptions based on what we do know about the spread. First off, of course, contact sports involves close proximity of players hence contact sports. Second, shouting and increased force of breathing increases aerosol generation. So given just those two facts alone, mask use to decrease the potential of spread is reasonable. Keep in mind as well, in Michigan, in terms of numbers and keeping COVID at bay, we are doing well compared to other states. So being thoughtful and careful at this point in time can actually help keep us in that position. Now, now Frank, Dr. Caldoun also said that if players cannot wear a mask for whatever their own personal health reasons uh, might be, they just may not be able to participate. So why don't we dig into that a little bit? Well, you know, so she was basically acknowledging other research that actually shows when you are exerting yourself while wearing a mask, it is both uncomfortable and it does, in fact, put a person's body under more physiologic strain. So for people who find that participating in a sport with a mask on causes either discomfort from an increased heart rate or maybe more work of breathing, they should sit it out rather than not wear a mask. That was really her point there. Yeah. But mask use does cause an increased physiologic strain. There is no doubt about that. Sure. Now, we've done a lot of stories about the, the different varieties of masks. So you've got a lot of parents right now trying to figure out if there's a better mask choice for athletes, given that they have to wear one. Well, you know, I think it's, it kind of goes back to the old joke. I think whatever mask they'll wear is the best choice. And I realize, in fact, there's been some very preliminary information to suggest that neck gaiters like this one are not effective. But I think that information was actually incomplete. And these are probably fine to use. Now, some other issues with masks, though, during sports is that, first of all, they will get damp pretty quickly, yeah. whether they're cloth or paper. And a wet mask is not only harder to breathe through, it's also far less effective. So changing out masks for a fresh one when it's soaked or is actually a sensible thing or use one that has a fabric that wicks moisture away and dries quickly. Another issue with masks is when you breathe harder, the mask will get sucked in easily. So masks that have a shape that keeps them off your mouth. Hello? Yeah, we're still with you. Go ahead. 
Oh, sorry. So masks that either have a shape that keeps them off your mouth or some a little bit of support like the ones that are designed to keep the mask off of lipstick, those would probably also make them more yeah. comfortable. And of course, it'll help uh, with their lipstick as well. That would make sense as we uh, keep trying to move through this uh, pioneer territory that we're all in. All right, Frank.